Hi everybody, Pastor Jimmy again. We're going to continue looking at the book of Ruth. We're going to be looking at Ruth chapter 2 in this video. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch the videos on Ruth chapter 1, I'll have those links in the description so you can go back and look at the videos we've made on Ruth chapter 1. Well, in Ruth chapter 2, as you begin to read it, I'm not going to read all the verses to you, so I uh, uh, suggest you get a Bible, go read Ruth chapter 2, and then come back and we'll go through that in this video. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to read Ruth chapter 2 at this point. And really, if you want to look at it, man, what a turn of events we've had. What a turn of events. When we left, last left uh, Naomi and Ruth at the end of chapter 1, uh, they were destitute, they were poor, they were vulnerable. And they were left to rely on the laws of Israel. And those laws were laws that allowed the poor, Ruth, the widows, the disadvantaged, Ruth and Naomi, to go and pick up the leftovers that the harvesters left in the field as they reaped the crops. So we see that Ruth understood a little bit. Maybe Naomi explained it to her. But we see that she understood a little bit. And so we see her go in and we see that she was told, she told Naomi, let me go gather what I can. Let me get what I can for the grain. And as you see Naomi say, go, my daughter, we see this uh, uh, was a response of urgency. Naomi understood the situation she was in. She understood what was happening. And so she knew that, that Ruth had to go. And so as we go through verses 2 through 22 in this chapter, all of these verses represent one day. So if we're looking at this, we represent this as one day. Uh, the chapter, uh, verse 23, talks about the whole season. But this represents one day. And at the end of this day, their circumstances have changed. Life has changed for Ruth and Naomi. And so we want to see how these change. But the thing we have to remember is this. Everything that has changed in their life from the beginning of the chapter to the end of the chapter, all of those changes are because of God, because of what the Lord has done for them. In this chapter, you see the word favor a lot. You see the word favor come about a few times. This word favor conveys the ideal of the kindness that goes beyond what is, unusual, what is usually done, the, the kindness that goes the extra mile, so to say. So we see in this story, as we continue to read, we saw in chapter 1, 10 years earlier, we see Elimelech and Naomi, they left Bethlehem from Moab. Uh, they were doing what they thought was right. They were uh, removing themselves, though, when they did that, from the refuge or the wing, underneath the wing of God. When they returned to Bethlehem now, we see that God began to cover Naomi and Ruth with his wing once again, and we see them taking refuge there. So as we look at chapter 2, we want to look at the Lord's favor in chapter 2. And the first thing I want us to understand is that his favor is always meticulously planned. It's always planned out. Uh, we're introduced uh, by the way of family uh, into Boaz in chapter 1. This is setting the reader up to know him better later on. We'll get into a video separately on who Boaz is later on. But right now this is setting the reader to know him and to setting up the rest of the chapter. When Ruth leaves her house to go in the field, she has no idea where to go. She's not from Bethlehem. She's not from this land. She doesn't know where to go. She doesn't know what to, to expect. And so she didn't know which field she would end up in. But the Lord led her. Some would say she was lucky. Some say she was fortunate. But God doesn't deal in luck. He doesn't deal in these things. Everything that Ruth did was prearranged. The Lord had planned the field for her to work in. He had planned put the seed in her heart and led her to that field for her to work in. You see, in our lives, many times we may be in a situation like Ruth where we don't realize that the Lord is watching over us. We don't realize the Lord is leading us. We may complain. We may not feel like that the, the Lord cares for us. But what we have to understand is that when we listen to His Spirit and we go in the place that He wants us to go, we'll always be in the right place. We'll always be there. The Lord cares for us. He loves us. But we have to listen and we have to obey and do the things that he wants us to do. The Lord also, not he didn't just lead Ruth to the field that day. He also led Boaz to the field that day. He led Boaz to that field the same way he led Ruth. He led him through his heart knowing that this was supposed to be a meeting. We see in the Bible it says, Just then, or behold, or some would say by accident, he came to the field. Just know this, nothing God does happens by accident. Nothing in our lives happen by accident. 
And so we see that God was ready to bless Naomi. He was ready to bless Ruth. He was ready to bless, bless Boaz. And unbeknownst to anyone else, he was getting ready to bless the entire world through their offspring. So we see that God doesn't do anything by chance. We see that everything that God does, he does with a purpose and with a reason. And then the next thing as we go through this chapter, we'll begin to see God start delivering his favor to Ruth and Naomi through Boaz. And in this instance, this is one of those instances where God chose Boaz to do it. We see him introduced in verses 4 through 16, and I'll have another video that really introduces Boaz and who he was and his importance in this story. But what I want us to understand right now is this. Boaz is the man that God chose to deliver favor to Naomi and Ruth. God chose him. God chooses people to deliver his favors and to help others out. He doesn't have to, but he wants to use us and he wants to show us the blessing that we receive when we help others. So always be open to God using you to help others. Always be open to others coming into your life and helping you because that is God using them. That is God saying, here's the help that I want to deliver. He used Boaz to help Ruth. He enjoyed helping Ruth. According to the Bible, there were no ulterior motives, no anything like that. It was him helping Ruth because of what God had laid upon his heart. And we'll see that as we study Boaz later. So God doesn't do anything by accident. Everything is planned. We also see that God uses people and he brings his favor about by using people in other people's lives. So be willing and be open to be used by God in the lives of other people. One of the other things we learn in this chapter is that when God gives his favor to others, when God shows favor upon others, he also gives them hope. He gives all of us hope. God's favor gives us hope. Many people in the Bible, they see Boaz as they read this as an example of what Jesus Christ is ready to do for or what he did for the entire world. But by the end of this chapter, by the end of chapter 2, we see Naomi and Ruth going from bitterness and no hope to hope in their lives. At the end of the day, when you read chapter 2, at the end of the day, you can sense the unexpected smile in, these, in their lives. You can see these events unfold as Naomi brought home everything. She left with nothing in the morning, hoping that someone might show her favor. Ruth returned, though, that day, not just with a few leftovers, but she was weighed down with an abundance, an abundance of barley, of grain. In Ephoth, in verse 17, that they talk about here, this is three-fifths of a bushel, or 22 liters, or five gallons of barley grain. The value of that barley was about a half a month's wages. She left poor. She left destitute. She had nothing when she left. God showed favor upon her through Boaz, and Boaz showed that favor that God wanted him to her to, to Ruth, and so when she returned, she returned with more than enough for her and for Naomi. They had hope once again. God had given them hope through the favor that he had showed them. They had hope not only in the present, but they had hope in the future because of what Boaz did. Boaz did. A few things that Boaz did for her. He told her to stay in the field. When he told her and he welcomed her in, he showed her favor, it did a few things in her life. Number one, it gave her companionship. Not with him at first, but with his servant girls. He said, stay with the servant girls, be with them. This was giving her companionship, the ability to talk and to get to know people in this area. God wants us to have companionship with others in our life. That's why church is so important. Fellowship with each other, companionship with each other, fellow believers. So by Boaz showing her favor, he gave her companionship. He gave her food he provided for. He gave her all the provision that she needed by giving her the grain. He kept her safe. He told her to stay in his field. He instructed her men not to touch her or not to harm her. He kept her safe. And it kept her close to him, the one that would show her favor and the one that has showed her favor. You see, when Jesus Christ shows us favor, and when he showed us favor on the cross, and he paid the price for our sins, by doing that, he gives us hope for today, and he gives us hope for our future. You and I must understand that we have all we need in Jesus Christ. We need nothing else. As Boaz provided for Ruth, she understood that that was all that she needed. We must understand the same thing in Jesus Christ. That is all we need. 
We find our safety and we find our salvation in Christ Jesus. We find all that we need in Him. And because of that, we're able to come to the Father through Jesus Christ. But I want you to notice something about Ruth here. Ruth was shown favor by God. Ruth was led to the field by God. Boaz led, or God led Boaz to show her favor, but Ruth worked hard. Ruth didn't just sit there and let the favor come upon her. She worked hard. Yes, God blessed her. Yes, the people were generous to her. But at the same time, she did hard work in the field. This was a sun up to a sundown day of work for her, and she worked all day long. Something that we must remember and something we must understand as we go through. The blessings of the Lord will come to us, but we must work as we receive those blessings. We must work as we see, receive the blessings of God. The other thing we must understand that she can teach us is the importance of the Word of God in our lives and how hard we must work for the Word of God. She worked hard. She had to stoop down and get every grain. She had to pick up one grain at a time. She had to hold on to each grain. She couldn't drop it. She had to keep it all together. She had to take the grain home and thresh it. She took the, took the threshed grain home and then winnowed it, and then she was nourished by that grain. All this work she had to do to be nourished. Think of all the work that we must do as we study God's Word so that it can nourish us and help us go along. What a difference a day made in the life of Ruth because God showed favor to her. God showed her favor, but she worked for that favor. She worked for everything that God was wanting to give her. Boaz was God's plan to show favor upon Ruth and Naomi, and he followed God's will and God's plan, and he showed her favor. Now at the end of chapter 2, we see that Ruth and Naomi have hope because God has shown them favor and God has blessed them. And Ruth worked hard for the blessing that God wanted to give her. And now they have hope. The beginning of the chapter, they had very little. And by the end of the chapter, they were, had hope, they had food, they were smiling, all because they found favor in the eyes of God. And Ruth and Boaz were willing to do what God had called them to do and now they have hope. I hope that you can find this same hope in Jesus Christ in your life. Know that he has a plan for you. Know that he has given you hope because he has given you salvation through his death and resurrection. Find your hope in Jesus Christ today. Go and do the work that he calls you to do and be blessed because of what you do for Jesus Christ.